How's it going everyone? JKXVXC back on Need for Speed Heat today. That's it, finally the first addition to all of the Need for Speed Heat videos that are going to come in the very near future. Starting off with this video, which is, in my opinion, tips and tricks and a guide to losing the cops in Need for Speed Heat, or losing the police. Heat level 3, 2, 4, even heat level 5 this works for. As long as you get it right, you can escape the cops. Now the chances are you are watching this video with your Need for Speed Heat game paused, you have a heat level and you're struggling to leave it. So I'm not going to waste much of your time here because you want to know how to lose them. But in the video I'm going to show you the methods and show you the tricks to lose the police easily, then show you some clips of it actually working for myself. And I'll tell you, this Need for Speed is my first ever Need for Speed that I've ever played, so it's taken me a while to learn this type of stuff and get used to it. But whenever I've had the cops and I've had to go to one of these methods or little tricks, they're not even methods, they're just little tricks. It has worked 100% of the time so far, whenever I've got to initiate the trick. So to put it short, the best tricks and the best ways to get rid of the cops off your tail and escape them in Need for Speed Heat are jumps, water and close quarter areas. So jumps, if you find a jump that actually goes over let's say a lake or goes over a building for example, if you go over that at a high speed with a cop chase the chances are the cops won't follow you, they'll either they'll, they'll crash or they'll just won't follow you and this will sometimes result in an instant escape from the police and I'm going to show you exactly where some of these jumps are in a minute. The second one as I said is water so you know there's quite a lot of areas in the map like the docking areas around the city where you can just drive straight into the water. If you just do this with the cops behind you they will drive straight into the water with you you will respawn, the cops won't. And the third one is close quarters. This means, for example, around the close quarter building areas of the city, the cargo containers bound at the bottom of the, left, the, bottom of the map. All of this helps you get away. So let's show you the first method now. So, for the jumps, if you're around the city with a heat level three, heat level four, heat level five, make your way here. This is by far my favorite one of them all. There's a couple more which I'll show you as well, but if you have a heat level, come to this spot right here. So come up this road here and make your way over here. The jump is right here, as you can see. So with the cops on your tail, you'd want to make your way round here as fast as you can, and the jump is dead in front of you. It's honestly as simple as that. You will make your way up over the jump, make sure you don't hit the building, And the chances are the cops won't follow you or they'll crash and you'll be escaping. As of now, you'll be escaping straight away. And the good thing about this spot is there, are, there is a safe house right around the corner, right here, that you can go straight in as soon as you've escaped. Right now, I'm going to show you a clip of this working. I think I had heat level five and all I did was viciously got to the area. The cops were right behind me and all I did was zoom straight over the jump, landed, and I lost the cops. The helicopter couldn't find me, even though I was right under him, and you just escape straight away. This jump is such a good place, and then I went straight into the garage and escaped straight away. Attack units in battle, break some shit. Hey, try not to run over the spike strips we're setting up, okay? I can't do something. Hey, the right here. Now if that's not worked, stay around this area because in this area you have the docks where you can literally just drive off the edge into the water like this, as simple as that. Now I don't have any clips of this but try it out for yourself, it doesn't damage the car as you can see there, I think it might do after a couple of times but just drive into the water with the cops chasing you because they will follow you, they will die, you will respawn and you'll have a better chance of escaping. One of the best ways to do it would be to have the cops on your tail, go into the water like this, then go around and do the jump. To be honest, this would probably work most of the time. 
Now there's more as well down at the bottom of the map. I've done one for the top of the map and one for the bottom, depending on where you are while you're watching this video, while you need to get rid of the cops. So now at the bottom of the map, here is where I'd recommend going. Now in general, if you come to the bottom of a map and do some, you'll have to be quite fast, but go around these containers quite fast and in the tight spaces and just tend to be quite fast. You will more than likely shake a couple of cop cars off your tail, but more importantly, there's another jump here, which, oh, I don't think you can make it through there. No, you can't. But more importantly, there's another jump down at the bottom of the map here, located specifically, that is also very easy to get rid of the cops with. Again, I've got another clip of this in action. It's honestly very simple and very easy. I'm going to imitate it for you now. You have the cops on your toe. You come to this place here and you just absolutely cane it in a front straight line over the jump. The cops will sometimes make it, but even if they do make it, they will sometimes lose sight of you or even bust themselves as in crash. And you make it off to the right hand bend over here. And the good thing is there is a safe house just down the road right here. I'm gonna show you a clip of this in action now. And honestly, those two clips you just saw, I thought, hmm, these are good methods. I'm going to get some cops up, do some missions, and then see if it works. And instantly, it just worked. I will agree with you in saying that sometimes it is very hard to get the cops off your tail. But as soon as you even start to get a little bit of distance on them and make your way towards some of these jumps, it's very easy to lose them with a click of an eye. The only thing stopping you from losing cops after watching this video will be making your way to the area where the jumps are. The two favourite ones are this one, because it's right next to a safe house, and especially the one in the city, which also is right next to a safe house as well. I've picked these ones because they're the most convenient and the best ones near safe houses to do, and the easiest to get some speed up to catch as well. Now for anyone who's still struggling, if you've still gone over these jumps and still got the police on you, just go around and do it again. The other good thing about this jump as well is there's a gas station as soon as you land. So if you're starting to kind of bush your car up, you can land basically inside the gas station and repair yourself straight away. Now there are other ways to get rid of the cops, like going high speed is a good way to lose cops, only if you're going very fast like if you're going down the highway let's say 150 miles an hour chances are you've still got police back behind you but if you're going 220 miles per hour that's when you start to get a bit of distance that i've noticed on the police but just as an example i think yesterday i was i was starting around here and i had the police on me and i managed to make it all the way around down here to this jump go over the jump lost the cops just like that it's that easy you just have to make it to these areas I'm not going to waste much more of your time to put it short. It's a very simple way, but truth be told, there's not really any methods or tricks or glitches to get rid of the police in Need for Speed Heath. Yes, it can be very hard. Yes, it can be very easy. You just have to know what to do. I, when I first started playing the game, I was, I stru I was, start I was struggling. I was also stuttering then. I used to struggle to get rid of them, but as soon as I started getting used to the tricks and using these jumps and using the water to get rid of them, it's so easy. It is honestly so easy and you'll manage it as well. But anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more uh, Need for Speed content. And I'll see you all later.